Hi right, guys, here is an update to my earlier upload re robbery Elsha Main Road affected. A man was fatally shot and his body dumped in the mangroves along the main road in Hellsha Portmore, St. Catherine, after being abducted from his home and robbed. His girlfriend was also abducted and robbed. However, she managed to escape unhurt after her boyfriend was killed. The armed robbers engaged the police in a shootout which resulted in the death of one of the gunmen. A search has been launched to apprehend these cronies. The police report that the couple was at their home in Gregor Park in Portmore when they were forced from the dwelling by gunmen who drove them to Kingston. They were forced to withdraw a total of 100000 from their ATM cards and then taken back to Portmore. They were transported to the Elsha area where the man was shot and killed and his body thrown into the mangroves. The woman escaped. A special police operation team trapped the gunmen to the area and a firefight ensued. One of the men was shot while the other escaped in bushes. The injured man was taken to hospital where he was pronounced. The security forces have tightened their presence in the area. Now trust me, this kind of crime scares me. You know why? It's the people, especially close to you, is going to get you. Because who else is going to get you out your house? Oh yes, I know you can unexpectedly be held up going or coming home. But this thing where you don't have any cash on you and they take you to the ATM to get it. That's crazy. So with everything in place to have less cash on you, the criminals have already devised a plan. Another thing, people need to be very careful who they talk their business to. You just have to keep it to yourself. Because you see something? You see that listening ears is sometimes taking important notes and end up being a blubbering mouth. I experienced something recently. I was doing something for someone and was in charge of it. I felt too comfortable with this person and end up saying it to this person. Out of just ch chatting, I was going on a long journey and it, it, it just we just end up talking about it. All of a sudden, a situation happened and I had to hand over what I had. A few days later, the same person said to me, you shouldn't have to worry about that because you're in charge of X amount for such person. I'm thinking, did I say that? Oh, you remember that? So the person said, you're a good man. Just take it from that for now. I felt like I could keep myself, may I tell you. I'm sorry I can't go into too much of the detailed information. So what I eventually did was when the old funeral was over, I made sure I went back to this listening ears and let them know finally all the insurance money is handed over to all the family members, how it was and finally out of my hands. So finally I have access to nothing anymore. You know why I did that? Because I know that listening ear is taking a mental note. Can't spell out everything, but in using a common sense. So no sudden random crap won't happen again. This was a very real lesson. Because it played out so well, I seen exactly where it came from. I moved on, walk and live. At the end of the day, I'm just was using an example to tell you how to be careful what you say to even people close to you or you're in a crowd and say something. So guys, anytime you feel like you're talking about your finances or your partner draw or your bank account or your pay you're about to get are you going to Western Union? Try to write it down in our journal. You don't need to mention nothing to anyone. This is not the age of sharing your business with anyone. That's why most that get taken out 
because they know the perpetrators of these crimes that is exacted on them.